Hey, how's it going? Another weekly comment reading. Uh, let's start off with Shemalaz. Hello. Yo, it me. Man, I don't understand why I'm kicked out of the Discord server. That was handled off screen. Oh, and yeah, you see my response to it, but uh, <laughs> let's keep going. <clears throat> Go get them, Lord of Cal, in response to me versing botters. Thank you, brother. I indeed will go and get them. <laughs> Bro, I think they need to add cooldown to the boss's skill because the map boss spam solar flare every three seconds. Same with Pico Dude. Spam his stun like every five seconds is insane. They need to rework that. All I'm going to say with Piccolo, I honestly don't know what they were going for when they created him. They made the worst type of boss possible. Sure, you get a good reward in getting a protection stone from killing him. But the thing is, nobody, not, not a single person in the server can kill him. You need at least, bare minimum, a million inventory attack. So you need to be at least punching 5 million per hit just to, just to even think about getting the kill. And, oh, sorry, my eyes are really... I probably shouldn't be rubbing it. But it's just unfathomable for 99% of players. Every It feels like every decision they make in regards to making a boss nowadays is with the assumption that players are using mods. And I don't, I really don't get it. I, I really don't get why they do that. Easy clap the bot. Yes. I'm glad his channel is gone. I remember. Oh. Who's Brian? Um, I didn't think that uh, people still watch this. This was an older video. Uh, but I, I haven't seen this comment yet, so. But to recap, these were just my experiences with the the guy <laughs> and yeah yeah we will we'll try not to delve more deep into it yes you should probably touch up the, on the manga too this is in response to me asking if i were to upload non-dbo related content which i actually really have been liking this is the this is the biggest reason why i wanted to make a weekly comment video this week and i really do appreciate the support I'm going to be honest, I actually didn't look at the yes vote at all. I know people are naturally supportive, especially if you just ask them. I The only metric that I looked at was this one and this one. So it seems to me that, what, about three people, Dragon Ball content, yes. And then as long as it's good is pretty much the general consensus. And I agree wholeheartedly. I, I, I do love the people that said yes. It's more so. Hmm, I don't know how to word it. When I first did that, when I first went off the rails, so to speak, when I first went off script, off content the first time around, it wasn't really received well. I do believe that it's better to pivot to at least Dragon Ball style, and I think that's where the sweet spot's going to hit. If you're editing here as a Mackie Life, watched it twice already. I really love the support that I got from existing viewers as well. Bro, my boy Cav. He's hoping for the most for here. He said 5k views in a month. I'm hoping that hits it as well. Let's see. Oh boy. Huge issues with skills and two point. Yeah. They, I sent it to them and they haven't even talked about it. I personally think they should still be encouraged to subscribe. Even if this was a one time thing, they should already be able to tell this isn't your norm. Agreed to an extent. There is a wave of viewers, at, at least in the more recent term, I'd say about in the last 10 years, where people pretty much subscribe without thinking about it. It's probably because of the bell and stuff like that. From what I've surmised, 
ten percent of the people that are subscribed are regular viewers to the channel. That's why YouTube pushes YouTubers to tell their audience to hit the bell. I, I it's uh far be it from me to understand how YouTube works. <clears throat> In my opinion, I'd rather not have ghost subscribers, you know. That's what happened. That's what killed off the first channel, honestly. I had like 3,000 subscribers, but half of those viewers were Vietnamese. Actually, more than half. I'd say about 2,500 of those viewers were Vietnamese. And since they didn't really understand me, there was no reason to be watching. So yeah, yeah that would... That would create a really weird scenario. Impressive use of metaphor bud, pavement buffet, and weave hall of fame introduction. That's just for hooey stuff. Thank you, thank you. And if you haven't watched this, please do. I put some really good time into it. Uh, let's see. I think Ruoni Kenshin have one of the most iconic scare as well. Okay, it looks like he's referring to the scar here. Which, yeah, I mean, it looks like a really nice scar. You probably got it for his birthday or something. It about a sword that, but uh, I'm not trying to. It's too early for me to decipher hieroglyphics. Yeah. Man, do they properly test these updates before releasing them? This is in response to skills not being able to be shot at automatically. I I I think it's intentional. Uh, they haven't said anything about reversing it. It seemed no change. No. Real. Though Tien got a W against the Cybermen and obviously an honorary one with Cell and Boo. I'm gonna hard disagree there. Tien got chap this is his peak. I'm I'm not I'm not gonna lie, this was his peak. The biggest thing is during during the Saiyan saga, I guess you could say, you know, a Cyberman is cool. The thing is they already knew what strength Raditz was at. So they already knew pretty much what to prepare for. So when they grew Cybermen into the ground, it's like they already prepared for Raditz to come in. So him being able to kill a Cyberman, he, he already knew the assignment. He already knew what level to be stronger than. So him being able to kill a Cyberman isn't even isn't even isn't even meaningful to me at least. With Cell, I'd say that is a good feat that he accomplished. That I mean, he pushed he pushed one of the strongest villains at the time. He pushed him down to the ground. Yeah, so uh, so yeah, I'll give that I'll give that dub to Tien. But Boo, his Tien's character arc in Boo was using a life. A life shortening blast to push away Boo's key blast. So if that's <laughs> no, 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 Tien did not get an honorary dub on Boo, bro. Oh, I appreciate that. Uh, video is great. Now you didn't have I nah I edited that. <laughs> I edited for I edited for about six hours. So to add something that picture means, you know, that's fair. That's fair. To your jokes as you say them in the right time. Not saying you gotta add them. Yeah, that is fair. Very fair. Thank you. That helps a lot. Although, why did you comment there? Um, let's see. I didn't know it was going to be like this. Oh, perfect. Yeah, it was because of it was this this comment specifically made me change it from copying YouTubers that YouTube like codename Super into this. And this is what generated, this is what triggered a lot of views coming to the video, which I'm grateful for. Uh, dun -dun 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 -dun. How you buy gold or how you farm gold? I literally cannot even tell you how I farm gold or else the method will be staying. I may start a new Saiyan account. I don't know if I'm coming back or not. All right. How long do they last? Oh, yeah. Let's, oh, my God. 
is in response to me just talking and talking and talking. And in the beginning of the video, I said, hey, yeah, let's talk. Let's talk about this one event that keeps happening. And then one singular, one solid minute, I didn't even know the video was going on. And I, I, I just looked like a fool. Uh, well, there's always a possibility. Oh, my goodness. Bro, this is why I love Enryu. I remember back in 2016, 2017, I just started playing the game. There I met a guy who was a bit stronger than me. He gave me some spare earth gear and gave me tips on how to get stronger. He invited me to his clan. I don't think he ever expected anything in return. I still have him friended in my list to this day. There's always a possibility that someone is doing something for you and expecting something in return, but there's also a possibility of making a really good friend whom you will remember for the rest of your life. You can see this in real life as well. Every relation is based on trust, when a, and whenever a relationship starts lacking trust, it will crumble. The real decision in choosing whom you want to put your trust in <sighs> As a side note, I do think the gift question is a lot more complex than it may seem. The only person I can think of who has given me gifts without expectations would be my family, but even then they expect you to be happy upon receiving said gifts. So I guess it's up to you, your perspective, whether you think gifts exist or not. This was such a beautiful comment. From the perspective of someone that makes content for the game it it could be the case that people wanted to get close to i guess this is pure speculation right people wanted to get close to a youtuber that way their name could be attached to that name if their name is riding on the coattails of another name they could use that in order to persuade others. Hey, I'm in line with this YouTuber. Therefore, I'm as legit as him. It's happened a lot. It continues to happen to this day. It happened so much in the past, especially with YouTubers that didn't really... that that were in the community, but they were naive in my opinion and that led them to getting scammed a lot but yeah you're totally correct every relationship is based on trust satisfying seeing you kill the bots so it'll forever yours all right and now we have hit eight days so that covers that lord of like lord of subscribe lord of peace yeah there's supposed to be more comments from this video. I don't know what happened, but all right. See ya.